Hello everyone, this is Paul with Creaform, and in today's video we'll take a look at how to conduct a pit gauge analysis in the aerospace module of EX Integrity. So let's get started. So in the exclude area section, I'll grow the selection a couple times. What happened here is that the software automatically identifies areas to be excluded. These should also be excluded. In this step, we need to make sure that the pit gauge is oriented correctly and also long enough, essentially to cover the longest area of damage or dent. So in this case, it is oriented correctly. However, if I zoom in, we can see the dent right now is longer than our pit gauge. So I'll go ahead and extend the length of this pit gauge to about 150 millimeters. Make sure as well that your pit gauge is longer than the dents on the other side. So we're ready to head to the next step now. In this step, I could add or remove mark damages, but I'll leave it as is for now. Here, I'll change the critical deviation to three millimeters, which means that any damages past three millimeters will appear as red. I'll also create a discrete color map and just change the number of divisions. In this step, I'm going to add a compliance criteria specifically the deepest points, and I'll say three millimeters. So any deviation that's greater than three millimeters will be flagged as critical. In this last step before the analysis, you can choose to add reference lines. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a couple uh, reference lines. And I'm also going to add a couple tags. So one of them will be up, indicating the up direction of the plane, and the other one will be the inboard direction. So this is optional, uh, but it can be nice for the reports. So we've reached our analysis step. Notice we have five identified damages and they're currently sorted by max depth, but we can change that of course. Notice if I click on any given feature, it's going to show us the distances to each reference line. So those are represented by AX, BX, and AYBY in this scenario. Another neat feature is that you can add distances to your marked damages. So you can do that by simply shift clicking to anchor a point, shift clicking on the other side, and this will create a distant feature, which will of course appear in the final report. Lastly, I'll go ahead and add some depth annotations. Of course, you can add as many as you like, but in this case, I'll just add one on this feature and one on the other deeper feature. So if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and drop us a like and consider subscribing to our Creaform channel. This was Paul and I'll see you in the next video.